Everyone thinks that aim is the most important thing in any FPS, but in reality, it's just a small percentage of what makes a great player. A great player thinks of Valorant like chess, and uses that knowledge to win games. I'm excited to announce that I've made my own Valorant course on ProGrads.com, where I share all my game knowledge with you on how to win every game. Winning is about using information, and in the course I go over all of the info you need to win. In ProGrads, you also get to play with the best pros in your game and get one-on-one -on -one coaching from Radiant players. Go check it out in the link down below. Welcome everyone to Tenza's or Tyson's vlog, Iceland. Yeah, Kaide's right beside <laughs> no, me. No, I don't want to She's a, a guest so far on this trip, but I'll have to leave like, oh man, one fourth of my trip. So I live on Vancouver Island, so we have to take a ferry from Vancouver Island to Vancouver. And then I'm taking my flights. My first flight is going from Vancouver to Seattle. And then I'm going from Seattle to New York, where the rest of the team, I'll see them in New York. And then we're all taking the same flight to Iceland. So that's kind of like the travel path that's there. There's a lot of safety precautions and everything especially when we get to Iceland we have to quarantine for a week but I'll kind of show you guys or do like a walkthrough of my experience I don't know what to say we're gonna go head up get some food and then I'll probably record more when we get to the hotel because I'm staying I'm staying tonight in Vancouver because my flight is tomorrow morning rather me stay now or like stay tonight than take like a seaplane tomorrow morning and have to ferry over and then I'm in a rush and stuff so I thought it was just better if I leave a day before hello everyone I'm at the hotel I forgot to make a a vlog yesterday but it's currently 5 a.m my flight leaves at like 7 30 or something like that so i'm going over and i have to go check in for my flight and stuff i'm pretty tired i know kaide's tired too my alarm is about to sound so i should head out now i will definitely update you guys on the flight and this will be my first time flying first class for a flight because i decided to book it for myself i saw that the description it said 180 degree bed or something like that so it's just a bed like a bed on a plane Hello. That's, that was a no-brainer. So I upgraded. So we'll see how that is. I'll definitely give like a little tour of that. But yeah, panning to the plane. <laughs> or no. Dude, I'm so sad I have to leave Kaide. I had two jobs. To bring my AirPods for the plane because I have an iPhone. So you know how iPhones don't have an aux cord for some reason? So you have to use like something Bluetooth. I forgot my AirPods. So Kaide and I had to go get some AirPods for me so I can, you know, listen to stuff on my phone because I'm probably just going to binge watch anime on my flight or something or fall asleep. I actually forgot to bring my camera charger. And so when I filmed the first thing on the ferry, I guess I left my camera on and it didn't turn off. When we were trying to film something, I forget where, I saw that it was at 10% battery and I went to go like get my charger and I was like wait I forgot my charger and Kaide's like oh you had one job I'm like I know so we had to go to Best Buy we had to go to London Drugs and somehow Kaide was able to find like a universal adapter or like a universal charger it's insane as I said before my first vlog ever I've never done this and it's kind of like new to me so I'm on my flight right now to Iceland I didn't end up recording for the first two flights so my flight Vancouver to Seattle Seattle to New York because I was really tired so I ended up just passing out for the entire duration of the flight. I have the mic like right next to my mouth right now because it is really, really loud on the plane. And so I can't even hear myself. When we land, it'll be really early in the morning. Hey everyone, I just got back to the hotel and I took a nice shower, got a little nap, ate some food, so I'm feeling nice and refreshed right now. So currently it is 3.35 p.m. and we arrived at around 9, 8, 9, 8 a.m. I'd say and we took like a 45 minute shuttle and now we're at the hotel. There's a lot of safety precautions at the hotel, obviously because of COVID-19. And so first off, like everyone has to wear a mask and since we're under quarantine, we got special permission to quarantine at this hotel instead of the other hotels that other like if you were a tourist, for example, had to go quarantine at. So we we're at this hotel and some rules like we can't like we can go out for a walk. But for the most part, we kind of have to stay in our room and we can't like eat out at a restaurant. We can't use any amenities until we are fully cleared of COVID. And so first day at the airport, we had to get a COVID test. Man, that thing was awful. I remember when I was in the States, they do like this tiny little swab where like they put it up just like a little bit and they like swish the like inside and then the other nostril. Dude. It here, when we had to get like the swabs here, they went like up, down, and further up. And I was like, holy, I've never experienced anything going that deep before. So when they, they stuck it in my nose, I was just kind of like making sounds because it hurt so much. 
Yeah, so the rules are always wear a mask, no going into like the lobby. Like as I said before, you can go on a 30 minute walk and we can walk with other people. So if we can arrange like, I don't know, if anybody wants to like walk at like noon or something, we could all do that together. Oh yeah, also, Kaide and I, we got this shirt in Vancouver. So when, before I was left, we kind of went to a store real quick and this shirt says mentally gone. So I found my favorite shirt for when I'm solo queuing and ranked. It's the best shirt in the world. I can give a quick room tour in a second, but I just thought it was really cool. Like, so each of the players, we got a care package and there's a little note from the mayor of Reykjavik. So I don't know. Is this, is this the right direction? I don't know. He gave us a little care package. We get some chocolate. We got a bunch of like protein bars, I guess. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of like disinfectant wipes and hand sanitizer. Plus they gave us a thermometer, a digital thermometer. I'm actually gonna keep this. I don't have one at home. This, thank you. Thank you, Mary Vrikovic. I appreciate that. I needed that for home. Two sets of Pringles, energy drinks here some nuts that we can eat and then more chocolate plus we got a lot of pepsi um so in my fridge i just have a bunch of pepsi i know this is a europe thing oh also i got two more things blue lagoon iceland signature masks holy that's like a full mud mask dude okay that's cool and then we also got some masks i already pulled out one for tomorrow just for preparation i was kind of like i'm not doing anything in this room I'm literally sitting in a room by myself. And so I decided to kind of organize my stuff a little bit. I should probably fold my bed real quick before I give a room tour. It might be a little bit messy just cause I left some stuff out and I don't really know where to put it. <laughs> but um, here, let me, let me give a quick little tour. So this is the front door of my hotel room. And to the right of it, we have the washroom right here. Everything's pretty like compact, I'd say. I honestly don't mind it. Like, I think some, players didn't really enjoy how small the room was, but I, I personally don't mind it. But dude, one more thing, the tap water here is apparently insane. Like you can drink the tap water and it's the most purest thing ever. Like I'll, I'll, I'll give like a little taste test in a second. I got my shower to the left right here. Come over here. Um, I think this is suitcase holder thing. I just put my suitcase on top of it. We have a desk. I rolled out all my peripherals. I'm making sure my mouse pads are nice and flat for tomorrow. So I kind of rolled them out. I bought two artisan pads, I think. Yeah, I bought two. Um, just got a headset. I brought two mice, not 40, two. And I'm going to use this one most likely. This one, the super light is just a backup for now, just in case, in case I'm super not feeling it with that mouse. I used these to roll up my mouse, but it was actually pretty good. And I stuffed in my suitcase, my keyboard, got my webcam. This is all the stuff I just showed you guys. The bed right here, don't mind how like I completely destroyed it because I was laying in it right after I got back from the airport because I was super tired. We got a nice big TV on the wall. And then right here we have this cool little nightstand or it's like a really long nightstand. I don't, what am I supposed to call this? Let me get some tap water. Let's, let's see, let's see what this is about. So looking at it, looks fine. That's good. <laughs> That's really good. I don't know what to say, but that tastes like good water. Obviously I was really thirsty. <laughs> I guess I got a nice little chair right here in case I just want to chill. Got a mirror so I can do like a fit check. Uh, let's go check out this view that we have right here. Wow, look at this. We can walk to the ocean if we want, but as you can see, this is what Reykjavik looks like. And something so cool, dude, because you can see all the mountains and also sadly I'm not on the side that I can see the volcanoes, but dude, volcanoes are like erupting here. It is so cool to see because you see like the smoke like emerge from the volcano every so often. But yeah, I'd say I have a pretty good view. I don't, I don't really know what else I'm gonna do today. I'm probably just gonna watch something on the TV and pass out. I'm still kind of tired even after my nap because 
you know, travel days are quite taxing. Like, especially when, like when I travel, cause I live on Vancouver Island. So first off, I have to ferry from Vancouver Island to Vancouver. And then from Vancouver, I had to fly to Seattle. And then I had to fly from Seattle to JFK airport and then JFK airport to Iceland. So think about my entire flight time was probably like 11, 12 hours, ferry time, two hours. I had to stay overnight at a hotel in Vancouver and then plus all the layovers. So just if I had to estimate, I'd probably spend like 18, 19 hours traveling. So obviously like physically it's taxing, but I'd say it's more like mentally taxing to me. I don't like traveling that much. Like I, I like traveling and seeing new stuff. I don't like traveling and going on a plane and waiting for other planes and catching a bunch of planes and then taking a bunch of transportation. I don't personally like that aspect of traveling, but experiencing new things. I like to see like the culture of food. I know one thing that I want to do, I really badly want to go to Japan because so before I joined C9 CSGO, I was actually, I had a grad Japan tr trip with some of my close friends from school. So I was gonna go, but I think it was two weeks or three weeks before my trip, I actually got signed by C9 and I had to move to LA and stuff. So I wasn't able to go to Japan. And then during that entire time, COVID happened now. So it was like 2019 or 2018, dude, I don't, I don't know, years go by fast now. It's 2021 now, but I think it was 2019 and COVID hit. So I haven't had the chance to go to Japan. I really want to go there, but yeah, I get to experience another European country. So that's quite nice. I think Iceland is very beautiful. <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely have to go outside and experience the sights a little bit more. Honestly, when Kaide was researching about Blue Lagoon, I kind of wanted to go too. So I might see if I can go and practice day tomorrow, I guess. But anyhow, I'm gonna rest now, quite tired. So I'm gonna watch some movies. <laughs> okay, see you guys tomorrow. We'll be practicing and I will be streaming tomorrow. Hello, so this is the quick look into our practice room. So the Sentinels practice room. We're scrimming later on, but first we have to go out for a photo shoot. There's two rules for this practice room. One is you have to keep the masks on in the room. Second off, you're not allowed to share the washroom, so you can't use this washroom. You actually have to go into your own room and use your own washroom. So those are the two rules because it's COVID and we're under quarantine. Let me show you guys around the practice room. So the main door right here, our manager sits right here. This is where Zoms is sitting. That's his setup. Uh, Hunter is uh, sitting right beside me, so sick. This is my setup. As you can see, I have two mice right now. Right here, this is where Mike slash Dapper sits. It's a little bit messy right now. Now. Dude, these rooms are really hot since we have, this is the only thing to cool us down because if you count, there's seven computers and we only have this fan and this fan as our like safety. It gets really, really hot, especially when we're in practicing together. And then lastly, this is where Shaz sits right here. If you see my jersey right now, this is the standard jersey or the one that I brought. So it has 10 on this side, 10 on this side, and then I'm gonna turn around and see if you can see the 10 on the back. It's 10, 10 right there. So that's what it's supposed to look like. So this is the jersey, the new jersey I got, because this is basically the same jersey, but it was just correcting everyone's numbers to what they were. And so the jersey is fine and all it's normal, except instead of 10, it accidentally did a typo. And so I got two jerseys that have a Z on the sides. And uh, let me see if I can just throw this on the ground. A Z on the back. <laughs> it's, it's a funny, it's a funny mistake, but you know, it happens. I think they want me to just rock the, the 10 that I brought. That's like the standard and everyone else has numbers. I would be the only person with a letter if I did use that one. So quick little thing. Oh my God, this, this view is gorgeous. Like right here with the mountains. Look at this view. see what footage I can get since I am new at vlogging. Obviously this one's gonna be really makeshift and I have no clue what I'm doing. So I'm just kind of doing stuff and then seeing how that ends up and then I'll know how to improve for next time. So that's kind of the way that I'm going about vlogging. So it's kind of like, oh, it's, um, what is it? Trial and error, kind of. I'll say that, that's that's the technique I'm using. I like that technique, it's fun. But yeah, so we're going on a walk. It's currently 112. We're going on a walk at 130. We're taking some photos. <laughs> Yeah, this is the new sandals jacket. Looks pretty sick in my opinion. I like it. Ugh. I'd say it's like more like the thin side, but I kind of appreciate that. I don't really like having thick jackets. It's kind of like more like wind, windbreaker style. 
But yeah, it looks pretty nice. <laughs> so yesterday we actually scrimmed, I think it was liquid first day and we were using the land client. The land client, we had one ping. That is the best thing I've ever felt in my entire life. Like one ping is insane, like absolutely insane. I, I notice it the most probably because when I'm playing matches, I'm West Coast. I play with uh, 56 ping it is my minimum ping that I can play a professional match on. So when we were scrimming, I was playing on one ping. I was getting like so overly confident because it felt insane. It feels so nice being able to hold angles after not being able to hold angles back at home. It's it's a completely different game on low ping compared to high ping. And I, I don't really know how to explain it. It's kind of, you have to get a feel for it yourself. Let's go into the walk. All right, we're rocking the Sentinels mask right now, and we're currently taking a walk. What's up? This it's your is boy Hunter Sick Mims here. Yeah, back at it with another vlog. Look Subscribe to dude. my YouTube and my Twitter and my Facebook and my yeah. Yep. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Yo, Shaz, you want to shout out on the vlog too? Oh, yo, I Shazam K on Instagram, not Shazam K on Twitter, you know the vibe. Right over here, Mike, oh, that's the you want to shout out? Hey, what's up, man? Follow at DapperCS on Twitter Okay. And, uh, and Instagram. CS. Twitch and Twitter slash Zombs, <laughs> Z-O-M-B-S. <laughs> Really, Sentinels, they seem to have the whole package going on. We got Tens, who is so gifted and talented. He's always taking those forward aggressive angles. We've and got Fnatic have this backside control mostly still to play with, so that's a good omen for them. But Zoms is up close and personal to Spectre running out of bullets though, and the trades keep on coming through. Fnatic still with a chance here, but Tens is making it impossible. Fantastic finish from him. It comes the first Ooh. swing. There's no trade though at all. Set, well, eventually Tens will find it. In fact, he gets Boaster as well up on top of the structure. We'll see what else Tens can find here as he looms above. Ever dangerous. Doma takes down absolutely everybody except Tens. Can he find him? No. Tens from above able to take down Doma, the last player standing. And there it is. Daff is going to lock it in. Sentinels have bested wow. Fnatic in the upper bracket. Hey, I'll keep this really short. We just got done with the Fnatic game. We 2 0 them. The rest of us are really happy. And I'd say we're feeling really confident on land now. I already know that this performance will continue throughout the tourney. All right, so we got some more matches tomorrow. I think against uh, Vikings. Mighty Sentinels will take on Brazil's team, Vikings. They do have Sudacast in position. It's going to play into the smoke here. This is a risky maneuver, but will it pay off? No, it doesn't. Tens will take him down. Very troublesome indeed. <laughs> Goes for it, I respect it. And that's gonna be it. Sick is gonna close it down for Sentinel. And a long so maybe scratch that entirely because they will go off of the back of that one. Tens though is holding the site still. So this is a problem. And a neural theft comes through to gain more information. Oh, and the spike. spikes down and they have the site sentinels. They are still sitting on this one. And it doesn't look like they're able to stop Tens. He's going to own absolutely everybody that tries to walk into this site. Very unfortunate oh! for Vikings, but that's going to be a wrap in this series. Sentinels are going to clinch it. 13 to 6. Not quite as competitive as the first map, Icebox. But still, overall, I think a good showing from Vikings. Sentinels are still the team to beat in this upper bracket. Our final match of the day is going to be set up be a good old-fashioned slobber knocker, as Jim Ross says. The mighty Sentinels are looking to ride that upper bracket wave while Korea's new turn are looking to take down another North American squad. Tens and Dapper left standing, doing the damage here. They don't know about Tens, and he's going to be able to heal off of that kill and finish the job. Bleeding all the time from the clock at Sentinels until finally Tens will finish off Perry, and that is the first map in the bag for Sentinels. Uh, but let, look at Tens' position. He's in a great spot for a 2K. And there it is, effortless there from Tens. And he's gonna get peppered from all sides. And there we go, Sentinels take down Newton on map two on Haven, 13 to four, to take the series, to move forward to the grand finals. And they are gonna be knocking down Newton. We feel really confident because we've been 2 0 every single team so far. And going on to the grand finals, we're confident we can 3 0 them. It's feeling good. <laughs> and here we are, ladies and gents Sentinels versus Fnatic here. Map one of the best of five grand finals here at Masters 2 Reykjavik. Got to hold on to the backside control by time for his teammates to get here. Tens is there now, able to help Dapper as that wall goes down. And this is beautiful. Just enough time bought there by that cage. And now Shazam swings in. Sentinels are looking 
amazing, fantastic, and that's it. Sentinels will win map one in Woo. overtime. And this is now in a forward position. Indeed, Mystic not expecting. Oh, this Fury coming out, and Dapper will take down Dirk. Wow, Sentinel wow, pick up. Bind. They pick up the map of Fnatic. Map two goes to Sentinels, and that's a 2-0 start in this best of five. No one's close, they don't know. <gasps> oh my god, he gets flashed! The team flash! The team flash! Magnum's in the smoke here, Tens Oh my down. god! Oh, Magnum's got no HP, not like this! Sentinels, they're gonna get the defuse! They've done it! Sentinels are the Masters 2 Reykjavik champions! And they do it flawlessly! They didn't drop a single map! Hello everyone. So, we have won. We won the first international event. I'm really happy with the team. This is one day after we won already. Uh, we, everyone's like already left for the flights and stuff. Honestly, I, I first wanted to just shout out to all the fans for supporting me throughout this entire adventure from my transition to CS to Valorant, going from like C9 to Sentinels. I appreciate all of you and I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me throughout this entire journey. It feels really good to win. <laughs> I appreciate it and I hope you guys enjoyed this first vlog. Appreciate it a lot. Peace out.